Accept it or not, we get business ideas all the time. In our heads, they are Zuckerberg's Facebook level genius ideas. But the sharks know if they'll work or go down like every other Dr. Doofenshmirtz's invention. But apart from all the serious entrepreneurial passion, capitalism, innovation, and money talk, sometimes the pitches in Shark Tank were so funny that they had us rolling on our couches. So let's have a look. First up, we have a llama in the show. Goes without saying that this is one of those pitches that live in everyone's minds rent free. The product was great, a safety device that sends your GPS location, photo and medical information to your closest emergency center after you press the button. The days of, hey, it's 911, state your emergency are over. Now, who wouldn't want that on their phones? But the thing that had us jumping on our couches was the guest that came with the presenters. They brought an actual llama to the show to to secure an investment. To be honest, it was a very handsome llama that stole the show. The sharks kept laughing non-stop just at the bare existence of a llama on their set. Now, the llama wasn't just a publicity stunt. The presenters explained the inspiration behind the name of their product that llamas are very aggressive when someone threatens their flock, and their product aims to do the same. Now, if this isn't research done right, then we don't know what is. Okay, raise your hand if you want to wake up to the smell of bacon coming from your bedside. Side. Now, here's a product that made the sharks laugh because they thought it was stupid. The product, aka Waken Bacon, was an oven come alarm clock that wakes you up at a set time to the smell of freshly cooked bacon. Mark Cuban said the product could be a gag gift. People would buy it because it's so stupid. LMAO, because that was a third degree burn. Then there was Kevin, who called the product a pig box, and honestly, it suits it more. He kept asking the presenter to sell him that box because he just wanted to keep it in a museum of very bad ideas. The inaccuracies in the presenter's calculations also made the sharks laugh. Okay, so no one asked, but here's our take on it. We can understand where the presenter was coming from. Getting out of bed isn't easy in the morning, but if there's an aroma of fresh food coming out of your kitchen, you want to get up for that. It's just that it would take some time to turn this into a profitable model. Now, heads up, the llama wasn't the only animal on the show. Tell us if Jimmy Kimmel, with a horse wearing pants, doesn't leave you in fits. Hear us out. Jimmy Kimmel on the set of Shark Tank was one of the most iconic moments of the show, hands down. His pitch was basically a satire on pitches and presenters that appear on the show, and let us add that it was satire well done. Now you know how everyone instantly buys personal stories. Jimmy started his pitch with a story about how his family was shocked to see that every animal at the petting zoo was naked. Jimmy then presented the solution, and a horse came walking on the set dressed in trousers and a belt which Jimmy called the future of equine fashion. He didn't forget to add that the trousers also come in cargo shorts and Spanx, and the one that his model was wearing was a docker style khaki. Now let's come to the point where Kimmel hits home. Kimmel explained through a bar chart, yes, a bar chart, the number of horses that could be wearing pants. He then went on to explain the amount of money that he could make through that. What got us was his absurd confidence in his product, as one investor asked why Kimmel thought that horse pants should be worth $5 million. Kimmel replied that it was because there were so many horses that were without pants. Genius. What's funnier than a funny pitch? A pitch failed. We haven't recovered from the aftershocks of this pitch, but we hope you're better than us. The pitch started with CEO Alex, who introduced himself as a former Army Special Operation helicopter pilot. Just remember this information. We promise we'll circle back to it. He came with his COO Clay, and they introduced their product, a wedge door lock that they claimed impossible to break through. They said that a normal door lock opens after five kicks, and then they decided to demonstrate it. Here comes the funny part. The door refused to budge even after 15 kicks, including the kicks from a ramrod. The only explanation to why a former army special operation helicopter pilot couldn't open that lock is that the lock felt insulted after they called it a normal lock. No other explanation fits. All this time, the sharks were rolling off their chairs laughing while the presenters didn't break care character, but they recovered their pitch when the door with a haven lock didn't budge, and thankfully, they managed to break the door with the normal lock. Phew, and the day was saved thanks to Alex's double-footed dropkick. The sharks passed on the idea, but here's our medal to Alex for not giving up. Sometimes the solution is right in front of you, something that Throx made us realize. Throx seemed like one of the simplest products presented on the show. The presenter explained the universal dilemma of losing one sock of a pair, and we couldn't agree 
three more. He then presented his solution, aka Throx, which is just three socks at the price of two. Wow, like take my money. The product was simple, but the pitch got our interest in it. He used clever wordplay, and the one that got the sharks and us was when he said that Throx beat the competition by a foot. We mean, where's the lie? It's easy to make the sharks laugh, but it's almost impossible to get money from them. They saw it as a novelty gift and passed on it, but the company still exists. So if you're going through a sock issue, you know where to go. So what are your thoughts on zapping a squirrel? We think that it's our fault that we never thought a product like this could exist. The product basically gives squirrels a harmless shock if they try to eat bird food. Who really thought this much about squirrels? The presenter kept the sharks entertained throughout his demo. He started his pitch that the bushy-tailed bandits were the public's enemy number one. A little far-fetched? Maybe, but it kept sharks interested. But the funny part of the demo was that each investor tried the shock and said it was harmless. In case you're wondering where the animal rights activists are, let's tell you that the presenter believed that the activists would agree with his product because the alternative is fatal for the animals. The sharks passed up on the idea, but in case you're tired of the squirrels, you can buy the product on Amazon. Now, does anyone want Steve Gadlin to draw them a cat? Steve Gadlin's pitch was the perfect example of funny pitches done right. He started his pitch with music and demonstrated his cat drawing business. His moves were so groovy that in no time, they got Mark Cuban dancing in his seat. Steve's glad to draw a cat and scene for you as you demand. He knew his idea wasn't what you'd normally see, but he defended it well. At one point, he asked the sharks whether the sharks were considering how that idiot got into the shark tank. Then he made his point by saying there is a market for stupid in today's economy and he'd make it big in it as he's overflowing with it. The confidence. The other investors passed on his idea, but Mark Cuban loved the idea and offered $25,000 for 33%, which was over two times the original investment request. They then closed the deal with a handshake followed by a dance number. This proves how the love of dance and cats can get you to places. Lastly, you had us at the Cowboy Yell. The Lose 12 Inches program delivers exactly what it promises, and its founder, Ryan Cowboy Amen is living proof. The man designed an exercise program after he suffered from a back injury that not only relieved his pain, but got him back into the rodeo industry. Now, that's the success story we were looking for. He started his pitch with a cowboy yell and explained how he made himself fit again. His demo was quite promising as he showed his rodeo abs to get the investors interested. Not only did he get their interest, but also got a loud woohoo and a few laughs. Turns out that Damon John was blown away by the abs as he told the cowboy that he was the brand and offered him his hefty investment of 25% of the shares. He also told the guy that he believes in him, which gave us the chance to hear another enthusiastic shout from the cowboy. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about these hilarious moments on Shark Tank? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you in the next one.